Mi sveglio ed è passata solo un'ora Non mi addormenterò Ancora otto lune nere tu la nona E forse me lo merito la vuoi la verità Ma quale verità Ti dico la sincero quella più poetica Mi sento scossa Ah ma quanto male fa Come YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel, where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. And still staying over in Italy, I'm checking out Annalisa. Now, I have reacted to a number of Annalisa tracks, so continuing on. Now, this is a San, um, San Mero uh, performance, 2024, Sentimente. Um, let me know what's going on. I thought this was only going to be Angelina Mango. So, it's, it's, it was... Another competition, I believe, because from what I'm reading from um, a, a subscriber, thank you very much, that uh, from um, Pino Mango was in uh, was in this particular competition and he's never won it. And now his daughter has won it. So I, I thought it was just a performance. I did not know it was a, a competition. So Annalisa was in this competition and through this competition, um, Angelina um, Mango won. So who else was in this competition? Let me know. Now, I'm trying to find the song that she's done um, on this particular show, but I can't find it. I only found about, say, two seconds. No. Um, there was Rye Channel that was only showing 50 seconds of it. There's another uh, channel that's only showing one minute of it. I don't know um, where to find the actual um, song that is over, like, three minutes, four minutes, or whatever have you. I can't find it anywhere. So if you can find it, let me know where it is. Look, I'm still searching for it right now. I can't find it. So I'm going with the official um, video from um, Annalise's official channel, which no doubt will get me, but I will try and do the uh, the appeal to get it un. Um, so it might take a couple of days before you actually do see this particular reaction of mine. So, But I'm still happy um, because I'm happy. <laughs> as simple as that. So look, without further ado, you know! what we're here for great vocabs and a damn good video audio music can you dig it what is it with these red coats in movies what does red symbolize do you know what I mean The classic red coat and the woman coming in from the rain and the, the dripping makeup. Mi sveglio ed è passata solo un'ora. Se no, non mi addormenterò. Get ready. Ancora otto lune nere tu la nona. E forse me. Ma quanto male fa come morire ma non capita Sinceramente quando, 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 quando piango anche se a volte mi nascondo Non mi sogno di tagliarmi le vene Sto tremando, sto tremando, sto facendo un passo avanti e uno indietro Di nuovo sotto un treno e mi piace quando, 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 quando I have a stop it there, no matter what language I listen to There's always that artist that gets you in that mood like, no matter what country you go to, if you go to a club and you hear that sound or that music, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be in the middle of that dance floor shaking your butt. And that's what I love about music from around the world and how universal it is. Even though you may not understand the language, it doesn't stop you from moving your body. And this is a perfect example right here. I can, I can go to a club anywhere around the world. If I know that this song's playing, I've been on the dance floor. Simple as. And there will be a lot of people who may not understand the language that will be doing exactly the same thing. It has that, it has that empathism. It has that translation. It, like I said, it, there's certain, sang, uh, certain languages and certain songs that can transcend over to many different countries. And she is one of those artists. I'm just so surprised that she hasn't. I really am so surprised that she hasn't. I'm going to go back just a little bit. I've got to see the live performance. I really do, man. Come on, where is it?
sprofondare prima e dopo su appena mi riprendo ti lascio un messaggio adesso sinceramente quando 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 piango anche se a volte mi nascondo non mi sogno di tagliarmi le vene sto tremando sto tremando sto facendo un passo avanti e uno indietro di nuovo sotto un treno e mi piace quando 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 piango anche se poi caresse il mondo non mi sogno di morire di sete sto tremando sto tremando She's sto lasciando dei chiari di uno indietro e tu non sei leggero sinceramente That was Annalisa with Sinceramente. Sincerely. I love her flow. I love everything about her. I really do. She, she has the potential to transcend. She really, really does. And if she wanted to, I'm sure she can. You know? I, I really can't think now if I reacted to a song that she is actually singing in English. Or even if there is a song is where she's singing in English. I don't know. I can't remember. I have to go back into my catalogue. Um, the last song that I reacted to was uh, Mon Amour. And that just blew my, like I said, she's got that oomph, she's got that Kylie Minogue, she's got that Madonna, she's got that, all those kind of top legend artists that gave you that sexiness um, back in the 80s and the 90s and indeed the 2000s, well, she's in the 2000s. But around that calibre, she, she, I can definitely put her in those, on that list, in that, on that shelf. But where? What? Can she do much more? Is she comfortable in doing what she's doing right now? You know, certain artists want to dominate the world. And she, I'm sorry, but she looks like the art, uh, an artist that wants to dominate the world. And for an artist to dominate the world, you've got to, you've got to be transcending. Um, I'm not saying that you can't, um, you, you have to be bilingual in any, uh, any way. Um, look at Pavarotti. Um, he wasn't bilingual. You know, he sang with the great James Brown. James Brown and Pavarotti, I reacted to it, so I know if they both went on stage and they sang together, Pavarotti doing what he does best and then James Brown doing what, he's do he, what he does best. Uh, I saw it, I could not believe it in my eyes, so there's a testament right now that, you know, you don't really have to go overboard when it comes to transcending. Just open up a little bit, you know, um, and she's, she's got all the attributes of becoming that amazing um, artist. Same thing with Angelina Mango. Um, they really do. And... Do you know what, what they have done is, and like all the Eurovision Song Contest, when it happens, is that there's those am amazing songs that shine the light other than what America or what England is doing with, um, with that, that side of the music industry. Um, it's nice to see that there is so much development in, um, in other cultures and it's leaking through into what was or what is the limelight. You know, and you, you know the Limelight songs. I don't need to have to mention out. Um, but in those Limelight songs, what, which is a heavy music industry, you know, the likes of the Annalisa, the likes of Angelina Mango, even though they are fantastic singers, they don't really get a, a peep in that crack door. Um, so there's, I'm glad that there's multiple amount of platforms that is adding weight to this crack door to open even more and the cracks will be opened up even wider to allow amazing artists like Angina Mango and Annalisa and various artists from around the world to a peak few into in, in the music industry for all of us to accept. 
and rather than hearing crappy music from a, lower, a lesser artist doing a lesser um, uh, with lesser vocals <laughs> that's succeeding much more than these beautiful people it doesn't make sense to me um, anyway I'm, I'm going I'm blabbering on um, until next time I salute you boom see you in a minute